My name is Trip Buckley. I'm the director of the Heartburn and Esophageal Disorder Center here at UT Health Austin. Back in 2012, I began having symptoms of severe heartburn and regurgitation to where I couldn't even sleep at night, much like many of my patients, and eventually underwent all the diagnostic tests that we now perform and eventually had surgery in 2013. So having been a patient myself, I have great empathy for the suffering that our patients have experienced, as well as going through all of the tests and eventually even surgery. So surgery can be scary for lots of folks, but I think that having undergone it myself, I'm able to really walk them through it and our whole team is able to help them through the entire process and make it more smooth. Classically, GERD and heartburn is treated with medications and I think it's an important distinction to understand that those medications treat a symptom which is classically heartburn. So heartburn is the most obvious sign of having GERD. And the medications do a pretty good job of that. They treat that symptom of chest pain or heartburn pretty well. Unfortunately, the medications don't stop progression of disease. So the spectrum of GERD can go from just simple heartburn all the way through esophageal adenocarcinoma. Cancer of the esophagus is one of the fastest growing cancers in westernized countries. And so we want to be able to identify patients who are on that progression pathway despite taking medication. And when we do that, we have a whole gamut of tests that we can perform to identify the patients who might benefit from surgical correction of their disease.